All right, up to an extra hour and 18 minutes of daylight. Yeah, you know, I love to there. check that bottom left-hand corner. We're we are going in the right direction. Sunset, 5 o'clock this afternoon. Wow, and wow. we won't go pre-5 <laughs> p.m. until like November. So that's a nice thought. It isn't it? Isn't it? See, the, that's the, a nice the daylight at the end of the day is just searching for the positive. Yes, trying to. <laughs> we have um, to dig deep for that one. <laughs> right. I want to show you the snowfall so far this season, and all of a sudden, we are ahead of the pace, above average by about 10 inches in Bangor, above average by about 7 inches in Caribou. Still lagging a little bit behind in Portland, but recent storms have caught us up pretty nicely. And there's more snow in our forecast. Winter weather advisories away from the coastline. We're not looking at a ton of snow, and it's going to be different than the last few storms where it was fluffy and powder and light. This one's going to be wet and sloppy that falls later tonight and tomorrow. It's super cold right now. 15 Bangor in Portland, 6 in Lewiston. And because of the sleet snow mess we got on Friday, Things are still a little sketchy out there right now. Energy being transferred from the lakes to the Carolinas where this storm is forming and this is going to move up the coast and bring with it a lot of that precipitation. But temps are going to be marginal with this storm, so we're going to have a lot of rain for the coastline, I think, and that's going to make things pretty sloppy. Any sun that we have right now or shortly will fill in with clouds and it's going to be a mainly cloudy day. Could have some flurries midday as temperatures start to rise to 30 and then here comes the steadier precip. Now the evening commute could be pretty slippery. I think temps will be 33 or 34, which sounds above freezing. It is obviously, but because we're so far below right now, roads could be slick and there might be some icy spots, especially where we're getting a little bit of rain along the coast. And then that precip gets steadier and steadier through the course of the night. And some of this rain we get along the coast is going to cause a sloppy mess for tomorrow morning. I mean, think about all the storm drains uh, for coastal towns that got three inches of sleet. I mean, they're basically in a layer of cement right now. If you can this afternoon, maybe you do your neighborhood a favor and try to open up some of those drains so this water can get into them and not just pool up on the roads. Inland areas tomorrow morning getting heavy wet snow, continuing midday and then finally tapering off during the afternoon. I mentioned not a lot of snow for the coast. There might be a slushy coating. Other than that, it's very wet, which will make things very slushy regardless because we still have snowpack out there. I'd say about three inches for Bangor, one to three Augusta in Lewiston and Sebago Lake, interior York County. It's north and west of there, though. You get up into the higher elevations. I see close to six inches of a wet snow, lower elevations closer to three inches of wet snow, and that goes all the way up to the Canadian border. So ski country and snowmobile country, once again, getting some powder and some packed, uh, packed snow up there, which is great. We're back to sunshine on Wednesday as the storm moves out. End of the week, big storm free, but a front will come through Thursday with some snow showers and then another one on Saturday with some snow showers, but little if any accumulation is expected from either of those. Small crafts are up, seas two to four, southwest winds 10 to 15. We'll see flakes arrive this afternoon inland, mixed with some raindrops along the coastline. Could be a little slick for the evening commute. Tonight and tomorrow, rain snow mix tapering off in the afternoon. Again, a few inches as you get yourself away from the coast. A little milder Wednesday and Thursday, 40 degrees, bright at times. Maybe we'll get our driveways back. And then as we get to the weekend, a snow shower on Saturday and then a lot colder on Sunday. But we should be storm free for about five or six days following tonight and tomorrow. Okay, That's that'll good. be good. Give us a nice little break. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir.